Oh, hey, have I got a script for you. This thing is grade A pure gold. It's like Return of the Living Dead meets Bridges of Madison County, only better. Close your eyes and picture this. A top secret military aircraft carrying top secret cargo fucking explodes in midair after an engine malfunction. And the debris rains down over a secluded wheat farm in the middle of nowhere. What's this top secret cargo, you ask? Dead soldiers that have been reanimated into zombie super soldiers. The echoing explosion wakes up the missus, and she's like, Oh, honey, what was that? You need to go outside. I'll check it out. But that's a bad idea, because our super soldier zombies are ready for war. Ah, the zombies in my fucking field! This farmer is now the last line of defense to prevent a global, 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 zombie, 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 outbreak, outbreak, outbreak. Run! I'll take care of this shit! It's the middle of middle America. Zombies on the doorstep. Our farmers got, like, mysterious containers to shoot up. Let's call them mutation stations. It's a foggy night. And the... Uh, make it a clear night. The lens flares will look much better. Yeah, I love it. Your cinematic signature is going to be all over this. Mutation stations would have glass capsules filled with zombie-making goo. I can just imagine our hero busting open that glass with some bullets. Ah! It's so fucking badass. Hero gets to the shed and has to deal with more zombies. Mm, we need a set piece here. It's not a shed, it's where they store gas. Yeah, that is the kind of mainstream that this idea needs.
our heroes at the flaming wreckage. <gasps> What's that? It's a zombie with its skull opened, brain exposed, and it's leaking toxic goo. Hmm, that's gross. <laughs> you want me to explain what happens when our hero headshots him? <laughs> nah, I'm good. In the woods, the mysterious goo is making dead dogs come back to life. No, audiences will not like the idea of dead dogs. Did I say dead dogs? I mean, I mean like zombie wolves. You get a zombie! You get a zombie! You get a zombie! Everybody get zombies! Extraterrestrials. Yeah, so so I know you did similar stuff in that TV show, but imagine it was done better. I won awards for that show. And you lost a bunch. Hmm. Know what? I'm gonna pass. Your idea was pretty basic. I'm the one responsible for the pizzazz. <laughs> Come on! First off, 
huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, hey, how about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. An elite Spec Ops team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombies, scum! Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! We'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need it! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival ization? Only way we're gonna live is by surviving! Hmm, a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm seeing this. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon! You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. Aglaas, hi dude. The far cry in a DLC or not? This is not even a game. at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. Oh, funny body.
ഇതെന്താ സംഭവം ഇത് ഫാർ ക്രൈൻ്റെ ഡി എൽ സി ആണ് സോമ്പീൻ്റെ got to find a way down if you were to put the story beats on a graph this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge in my career you say something nope now the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go literally maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue there's despair loss or they can just use a cool grappling hook oh so we can just turn it ഇങ്ങനത്തെ സൗണ്ട് ഗെയിംസ് ആർക്കും ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടില്ല ഒരു ഹെവി സാധനം ഉണ്ട് ഡൈവിംഗ് ലൈറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ The hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all you can eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? Uh, hopefully it grows the fuck out. And the one ഇതിൻ്റെ മിഷൻ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഒന്നുമില്ല സത്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇത് ഒരാൾ ഡയറക്ടർ ഒരാളുടെ അടുത്ത് കഥ പറയാനാണ് സിനിമ പിടിക്കണേൻ്റെ അപ്പം കഥ പറയുമ്പോൾ അത് വിഷ്വലായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ കളിച്ച് കാണിക്കണേ That homelessness is is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? Tandu is something that sounds like a real important issue for me. I want everyone uh, to know that I'm going to have a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. and then the main character gets to the ammo drop and there's da 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 a new gun one more character how about a fucking zombie sasquatch character boom 
In there, bite your face, zombie! Sasquatch is Hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Ba -ba. What does our hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another zombie. Bam! Headshot. Roll credits. I'm gonna pass. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges? <laughs> Listen, I know you're the number one chick flick director in Hollywood. I think of them as sprawling romantic epics. You need to branch out. I got an epic supernatural <laughs> <movie> <laughs> 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 They put him in a coffin. They're gonna bury him alive, not because he banged the enemy, but because he fell in love. Romeo's gonna die and turn into a limpic zombie. The ultimate punishment. Juliet's like, fuck it, that shit. I'm going to waste it anyone who gets betwixt Romeo and my loins. So. Juliet has to fight her way through the graveyard. Because Romeo is being buried alive by his own gang. I got it.
Yeah, the whole thing is gonna be set in this big, spooky-ass graveyard. The supernatural love stories always seem so silly to me. Nah, it's no laughs here. That, look, this thing has brain-thirsty zombies trying to eat Juliet. So, then, Juliet goes down to a crypt that connects to the sewers. What does this have to do with Romeo and Juliet's story? <laughs> oh, it is important. <laughs> yeah, it's their romantic hideaway. They do each other down <laughs> they there need sometimes. A shot on us. You know, pokey pokey. So how's that for character building? An oasis from the chaos above. I can Whatever. see it. And why do you want to... In the local show, the Calicun, the multiplayer. I can't even get the soul on the check. I'm not going to get the soul. Show the graveyard's like a perfect place for my Hitchcock style cameo. It'll be a statue. That's an expensive cameo. How can you put a price on art? So when I see it in my mind, like we do all these uh, these little romantic moments all over the graveyard. Do people think romance? In a graveyard? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! It, uh, come on, it's something in our reptile brains. See death, think about making life. How do you make life? Pa -pa, bang it!
We had these big zombies, behemoths. They throw pots and have jacked up arms. Basically, my agent. Are they back? Kill them, Avik. No, sir. I need Tinder to go down. I don't see what I'm lagging. No, sir. I need Tinder. I don't know what to do. Oh! What up, what up, what up? Then we see mutation stations. An evil corporation made goo that reanimates the dead. How is that for pizzazz? To me, fluff like this really distracts from what's really just a simple story of two people. I'm trying to make the whole two lovers against all odds thing more against all odds -y. Tele, pinna, para yang tak ada juga. Top one so begin tak ada juga. standing between the lovers is a oh, church. Let me guess. Juliet has to climb over it using her superpowers. A nice idea, but I want it to be more grounded in reality. There'd be scaffolding all around the church.
And then, Juliet sees her lover's coffin and the gang trying to bury him. Let me guess, she has to kill them all. Exactly! We are totally on the same wavelength, my man! And then the gang members like, I'm gonna kill the hero! Say your prayers, asshole! What do you want to do? Saves Romeo from a fate worse than undeath. She opens the coffin and ha! M. Night Shyamalan, baby! Romeo is a mashup of all the monsters you can think of. The, the, the dude's ugly as fuck, but love conquers all. Ha <laughs> ha! This story can only come from the mind of an old virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa! I am a lot of things, but I ain't no virgin. And I'm not old. I just don't store Botox and April like next time. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not s